my fellow supervillains, it's me, Gru. I am more of the younger version of Gru. From the 1970s era, I was 12 years old. Anyways, I really hope you're gonna love Sean PVS 101's re-review of my movie, Minions, The Rise of Gru, which I hope you're really gonna love Sean PVS 101's re-review of Minions, The Rise of Gru, starring me as a younger version of the iconic bald supervillain, which this one features as a 12-year-old boy named Gru, aka me, who wants to join the Vicious Six, because the Vicious Six are the greatest supervillain teams of all time, but then they turn really mean at me, and then I, they tried to chase me down, I met Wild Knuckles, but you know what I mean. So yeah, I hope you really enjoy Show PVS 101's re-review of Minions the Rise of Gru. And I hope you really enjoyed this video and give him a like and subscribe. So, take away for the re-review, Sean. Thank you, young Gru. I appreciate it. Anyways, hello, superheroes and supervillains. It's your friend, Sean PVS 101. Welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing very well recently. With Despicable Me 4 is coming out real soon, which I am so excited to go see Despicable Me 4 real soon when that movie comes out. With the anticipated new release, Despicable Me 4 is coming out real soon, guys, which I am pretty excited to go see Despicable Me 4 in cinemas real soon, people. And today's brand new movie review, I'm going to do a review on my YouTube channel le leading up to Despicable Me 4 and what new re-review I'm going to do a re-review on my channel leading up to Despicable Me 4 which I'm going to see that film in cinema soon. Hmm. <gasps> Light bulb. I got an idea. Today's brand new re-review, I'm going to do a re-review on my channel leading up to Despicable Me 4. That re-review I'm going to do a review on is Minions The Rise of Gru. Yes, people, today I'm going to do a re-review on Minions The Rise of Gru. And this movie was released on July 1st at the year 2022, two years ago when this movie came out. And this movie is directed by Kyle Blanda, the same director who directed Minions 1 and the director of Despicable Me 3. And this movie was directed by Kyle Blanda. The same director who directed Minions 1 and Despicable Me 3. And this movie stars Steve Carell as Young Gru, Russell Brand as Dr. Defario, Julie Andrews as Gru's mom, Peter Coffin as the Gru's minions, Alan Arkin as Wild Knuckles, and so much more. And so the plot for Minions The Rise of Gru. This movie was take place after the events of the first Minions movie when when the Minions found their new boss named Gru while, while, the, while the Minions, Kevin Stewart and Bob, trying to stop the main villain from the first one, Scarlet Overkill, and her, and her husband Herb, while trying to get away with the crown, but then out of nowhere, younger Gru came out of nowhere to use his freeze ray gun to freeze ray at the villain of the movie and then he, he, he got the crown jewel and flies away on his motorcycle plane and go back to his home and while the minions follow them home but in this movie we focus on a young kid named Gru voiced by the talented actor Steve Carell we focus on a on a 12 year old kid named Gru who's grown up in the suburbians 
but Gru wants to become the world's greatest supervillain of all time because he is a major fanboy of his favorite supervillain team called the Vicious Six because of Gru wants to join the world's greatest team, the Vicious Six, because he wants to become the world's greatest supervillain of all time. He got his he got his cool evil lair with his beloved yellow minions. And then he has his own weapons and vehicles ready to join the Vicious Six. One day, when Gru is ready for his interview with the Vicious Six, during the interview, it did not go well for Gru for his interview with the Vicious Six. And later on, Gru stole the Zodiac Stone from the Vicious Six, and then Gru's on the run from the Vicious Six, and then, but then Gru sees his minions, Kevin Stewart and Bob and Otto, try to follow Gru, so we went out too. And then there's a big, crazy, ch intense chase going on. And later on in the lair, Gru is ready to, excited to meet the Vicious Six and get the stone back to so join them. And then later on, Otto completely screwed up and he traded the stone to someone else with a pet rock and then makes Gru upset. And then he runs away and fires the minions and then got kidnapped by his favorite formal idol villain from the Vicious Six, Wild Knuckles, because of Wild Knuckles, was a member of the Vicious Six when, when, when during the beginning when Wild Knuckles been kicked out after he got, he stole the stone from them, but but then he used to be members and friends with them, but he wants revenge on the Vicious Six. And while Wall Knuckles is mad at Gru because of he doesn't have the stone, but he ha he held held Gru hostage. And then the minions now is up with Kevin Stewart and Bob and Otto trying to get the stone back and Wall trying to rescue Gru and stop the Vicious Six from Chinese New Year. And that's plot for this movie. So after I watch. Minions, The Rise of Gru, leading up to Despicable Me 4. When think about this movie, after I rewatch it, I gotta say for this movie. Personally, I really loved it. That's right, people. I personally love Minions, The Rise of Gru. I thought that movie was very, a lot of fun and very entertaining. I really had a great time watching Minions Rise of Gru because this movie was even better than the first Minions movie back in 2015 because I really enjoyed the first Minions movie in 2015. I thought that movie was a guilty pleasure, but it's not one of my favorite ones of the Despicable Me franchise. Yeah, it has some funny moments. I'll admit the villain Scarlet Overkill was a lot of fun, but I'll admit it's not as strong or compelling as the other Despicable Me movies, if not around with Gru. And I still really enjoy the first Minions movie. I find, find that movie to be a guilty pleasure good time. But for Minions, The Rise of Gru, I really love it. I thought that movie was so much fun exciting and very entertaining. I thought that movie was so well written. Well, I, I'm as as a come from who is a despicable me fan, I really had a great time watching Minions the Rise of Gru. I find this movie to be a major improvement over the first Minions movie because I find this movie to have a better story, better some better characters, especially young Gru in this movie who stole the show. I think young Gru was the highlight of this movie because Young Gru is so adorable. And also we have some new characters are a lot of fun, like Alan Arkin as Wild Knuckles. He's a very in interesting character. I really love Wild Knuckles in this movie because he is a very interesting character you want to root for. Yeah, let's get into the story. So the story for this movie, I find the story of the movie to be very interesting because uh, this movie is the sequel to the prequel of everything because it's the second movie in the Minions series because of this movie is the Majora's Mask of Despicable Me movies because it's the basic, it's basically the prequel, it's, a, it's basically the sequel, sequel to the prequel of everything. It's like a sequel slash prequel to a before a major event movie. 
if you know what I mean. But personally, I do really like the story of this movie. We focus on a younger Gru who grew up in the suburbs in the 1970s, who was a fanboy of the Vicious Six, trying to join them, but then it turned out and he stole the stone from them to go on a, a very manhunt. Personally, I do really love the story of this movie because personally, I think the story in Minions Rise of Gru is a bit better than the first Minions movie because I find I find the story to be even better. I was kind of bit I was very invested invested to the story of the movie when the minions Kevin Stewart and Bob and the new minion Otto tried to go rescue Gru while trying to find the Zodiac Stone while the Fisher Six try to get it back and destroy the AVL. Personally, I really like the storytelling for this movie. I thought this movie was very fast paced, well focused, and very interesting for a Despicable Me prequel. I was very having so much fun watching this movie. It is a, a blast. Another reason why I really love Minions The Rise of Gru is I just really love the, the bonding moments between Gru and Wild Knuckles throughout the movie because we see young Gru wants to become a young inspired supervillain growing, growing up in the 1970s while we see Wild Knuckles voiced by Arlen Arkin wants to get revenge on the Vicious Six for firing and kick him out of the team while well, he wants revenge to steal the stone back but then Gru stole it back for them but accidentally got swapped by his minions Otto and then Wild Knuckles trying to get Gru to get the stone from him and then he got the rock instead but personally I really love the bonding between young Gru and Wild Knuckles because I just really love some bonding moments between each character because of because of because of like Gru wants to become a super villain like him because he wants to inspire his favorite idol Wild Knuckles because of Gru and because of Wild Knuckles wants to teach Gru to some super villain stuff to go to the Bank of Evil to steal the painting like Mona Lisa and later on throughout the movie Wild Knuckles' house was destroyed. We see some very heartwarming, touching moments between when young Gru was trying to confront, confront him about trying to cheer him up, but then later on, Gru got kidnapped by the Vicious Six, and then you're trying to rescue him. Personally, I really love that nice bonding between young Gru and Wild Knuckles because it felt like a, a wholesome grandpa and grandson story for a Despicable Me prequel. It's very clever and very wholesome and also the minions in this movie at least in this one they had a purpose in this movie because in the first one we have kevin stewart and bob because they're the three main minions in this spin-off slash prequel series for before the despicable me movies personally i do really like three minions kevin stewart and bob i thought they're pretty entertaining a lot of fun but as for main characters, I think they're not as strong, interesting, or developed characters as much as without with without Gru from the movies. But in this movie, I personally really like the three minions in this movie more than the last one because I, at least the minions had a purpose in this movie because the minions want to rescue Gru because of Gru been kidnapped by his favorite idol, Wild Knuckles because the Wild Knuckles wants to get the stone back from the Vicious Six. I do really like the minions in this movie because at least they had a pur purpose in this movie because they want to rescue their mini boss Gru from getting kidnapped by his formal idol Wild Knuckles because of Wild Knuckles want to wants to get the get Gru because of Gru has the Zodiac Stone because of Wild Knuckles needs to get his Zodiac Stone back because he already stole it in the first place in the beginning of the movie during this ancient like jungle when Wild Knuckles wants to become a great villain to impress the Vicious Six but he got kicked out and then he wants revenge on them. Personally, I really like the minions in this movie because they at least they had some purpose in this movie. Sure, you have some typical minion shenanigans when 
they had to go on the airport to go to San Francisco to rescue Gru, and then we see some minion moments when Kevin Stewart, Kevin Stewart and our pilots, and then we see Bob the minion dressed up in drag as a stewardess and try to give them to peanuts, and then Bob accidentally scared this little baby, and then the baby cries, and then and then Stewart try to fly on the plane and play this like classical music it is pretty funny i do like the humor in this movie because the humor is really funny in this movie because at least it has some funny moments more than the first one because the first minions movie has some some funny moments sure you got some typical minion shenanigans personally i don't find the humor the Minions humor, not bad in the first one, but in this one, they're pretty funny, especially the airplane scene was very hilarious. And also, I do like some funny moments, like when the Minions try to learn Kung Fu from the new character, Master Chow, then Mrs. Chow wants to teach the Minions to learn Kung Fu. It is pretty funny and a lot of fun. I do like some Kung Fu moments in this movie. <laughs> oh yeah, personally, I really love the writing and storytelling for this movie because I'm glad Kyle Blanda, the director of the first Minions movie and the director of Despicable Me 3, kind of listened to the criticisms of from the first Minions movie because of it doesn't have a folk unfocused story, but in this movie, I'm glad the director kind of learned, f listened to the criticisms, and trying to improve some moments in this movie. Good for him. Also, the animation. The animation is phenomenal. I still love the animation in Minions to Rise of Gru. It's got to be the most gorgeous looking visuals from this franchise. I still love the animation from the franchise. Especially like this one. I love the animation visuals from Minions The Rise of Gru. I love the character designs. I love the models. I love the expressions on the characters, both positive or negative. I love the models. The backgrounds and locations are excellent and creative. I really love the 1970s setting in this movie because this movie set in 1976. I love the 1970s era when this movie set it. I just love the backgrounds, the areas, location. Overall, just look very interesting and very creative. These animators did a phenomenal job making this movie come to life. I personally really love the animation in Minions to Rise of Gru. They carried this movie, especially the third act during the climax when, when the Minions are trying to rescue young Gru while he's being kidnapped by the vicious sex during the cl cl climax at Chinese New Year. Personally, I just love the climax on the, on the visuals of the animation. It looks so good and so fast paced. I just really love the movements and character animation during the climax. It's very fast paced and very awesome. Especially during one scene when the when the minions turn into zodiac animals when they're ready to fight against the vicious six, it is very jaw dropping and very intense worthy. It's probably one of my favorite climax from the Despicable Me movie. It's got to be the zodiac battle scene at the very end. And also, let's talk about the characters, shall we? So yeah, let's talk about the characters. And first, we have our main character, Steve Carell as young Gru. Personally, I really love a young younger Gru because of because we focus on a prequel story of young Gru who wants to become a supervillain during the 1970s era. He wants to join the vicious six and tries to oppress him to become a become a great villain. Personally, I really love young Gru in this movie because I do love a younger Gru more than a little older Gru because I still love older Gru in the main Despicable Me movies. I still love him, but I think I love a younger Gru a lot more in this movie because of, you know, who who exactly he looks like. Hmm. Me. Yep. Young Gru looks like me because me and young Gru look like each other because I have little brown, I have little brown 
hair, I have little nice eyebrows, I have some nice eyes, nose, mouth, I wear black clothes. I kind of look, look, look like Young Gru. See the resemblance? I look like I'm like the star of the movie. Whoa. So yeah, I freaking love Young Gru. Young Gru has got to be the best character of the whole movie because I kind of look like him throughout the movie because of I look like the star of the movie. So yeah, I do love Young Gru in this movie because he wants to become the world's greatest supervillain, trying to join his favorite super team, the Vicious Six. I think Young Gru was so much fun and relatable. I really love Young Gru so much. He's got to be the best character of the whole movie for me. <laughs> I just really love Young Gru so much. I just love his adorable voice. I think Steve Carell nailed a Young Gru voice because he he kind of he, he did a great job voicing adult older Gru, but a younger Gru is so much fun to voice. Oh yeah, I personally really love Young Gru. Young Gru is a phenomenal character in this movie. He's got to be my favorite character of the whole movie, along with the other ones because Young Gru. You are the best part of the whole movie because you make me you make me smile throughout the movie because we kind of look like each other. Oh, thank you, Sean PVF one to one. I know you kind of look like me because uh, we got the same look each other, but I'm very proud of you. You called me the best character of my movie, Minions Rise of Gru, because I am pretty despicable because I don't want the crust on my favorite formal supervillains, the Vichy Six, throughout the movie. So yeah, thank you for loving me as a character a lot, Sean. Very welcome, young Gru. And then we have other characters like the three minions, Kevin, Stewart, and Bob. I personally really like them in this movie more than the other one. Because I still really love Kevin, Stewart, and Bob. In this movie, I do really like them a lot more than the first minions because at least they had a personality because they wanted to rescue their mini boss Screw from his formal idol Wild Knuckles. I do really like Kevin Stewart and Bob. I think they're pretty fun characters. And then we have the new minion Otto. Personally, I really like Otto. Otto is a pretty funny character because he has some braces. He talks too much. Sure, he kind of screws up all the time when he accidentally trade the Zodiac Stone to a pet rock from that curly fat kid at the birthday party. Personally, I find Otto to be a little funny. I know a little screwed up, but funny at the same time. And then we have other new characters like Master Chow. Personally, I love Master Chow, who's this Asian lady who learns Kung Fu to teach the three minions Kevin Store and Bob to learn Kung Fu. I really like Master Chow. She's a pretty fun new character. And then we have Wild Knuckles, voiced by Alan Arkin. I really love Wild Knuckles. I think Wild Knuckles is a fantastic new character in this movie because he wants to get the stone back from the Vicious Six because of he tried to steal the stone from the very beginning, but then he got berated by his team, the Vicious Six. Personally, I feel bad for Wild Knuckles because of he wants to get that stone because he wants to become a great supervillain, but then he has a nice bonding between his fan, Gru. Personally, I do love Wild Knuckles and Gru's bonding moments between during the Bank of Evil Heights. Personally, I really love Wild Knuckles as a character. He's a very, very well interesting character. Rest in peace, Alan Arkin, who voiced Wild Knuckles. You may rest in peace. And then we have Dr. Nefario and Marvlin Gru. Well, well, they're not in this movie a lot because they have a little less screen time, but it's nice to see Dr. Nefario back in this movie during as a younger version of that character. And we have the main villains of the movie, the Vicious Six. Bell Bottom, Jean-Claude, Savageness, Nunchuck, and Stronghold. While they're not my favorite Despicable Me villains because of they have nothing to do, but personally, I think they're pretty fun and very threatening villains, especially during the third act where they turn into Zodiac animal monsters and attack the anti-villain league agents during Chinese New Year and let 
and let Young Gru hostage at a Chinese clock. Personally, I find the Vicious Six to be very bit threatening. Well, not my favorite Despicable Me villains, but personally, I think they're pretty enjoyable and fun villains. Because I just love their designs. I just love their designs of their 1970s theme to it. And their vehicles are pretty awesome. Well, not great villains as much as the other ones, but pretty fun to watch. So yeah, I really have fun watching Minions to Rise Guru. I really love that movie because... I just, every time I watch Minions Rise of the Gru a lot, it makes me put me in a very exciting and fun mood if I watch this movie on Movies Annual Wrap or on Blu-ray or digital because I just really had a fun time with Minions to Rise of the Gru because this movie is the Suicide Squad of the Despicable Me franchise. Why I'm calling Minions to Rise of the Gru the, the Suicide Squad of the franchise because both Minions 1 and the 2016 Suicide Squad are not well received by critics and audiences and then but then years later they got a follow-up sequel. Both of them got some bit of positive reviews and call it a major upgrade compared to the predecessors but I still love the first Minions movie because it's not a perfect movie or a bad movie. I find it to be a guilty pleasure but for this one I still really love it more than the other one because I find Minions Rise of Groot to be a, a lot of fun and very exciting to watch. It, make, it makes me, it puts a smile on my face if I'm in a good mood. So yeah, I really, really still really love Minions Rise of Groot a lot because I find this movie to be a, a lot of fun and very exciting. Overall guys, I personally really love Minions to Rise of Gru because this movie was so much fun and, a, and very exciting. I really love Minions to Rise of Gru. Easily a fun one, the franchise, with very interesting creative story, lovable characters, amazing animation, awesome action sequences, and great, great soundtrack. And also, the soundtrack in this movie was very awesome, a lot of fun. From the original score of the movie to the 1970s needle drop in this movie. So yeah, I love the 1970s songs in this movie. So yeah, overall, I love Minions to Rise to Gru. It is a fun time if you're a Despicable Me fan like me. This movie is for you. So yeah, I give Minions to Rise to Gru a solid 9 out of 10. It's definitely worth the watch. Well, that's for my movie review on Minions to Rise of Gru. I hope you liked this video. Give me a like and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what you think of this video. Did you like it or dislike it? Comment down below. And who is your favorite part of the whole movie? Mine is Young Gru. So yeah, subscribe and yet yeah, totally 